Welcome. Thank you for clicking on this episode. My name is Three Wheel Hay, and I would like to welcome you to the Three Wheel Hay channel, where we cover all things three wheels, and most importantly, the people who love them. My name is Audrey Lawrence. I am 55 years old. I live in Burlington, New Jersey. Year, make, model of your bike. I have a 2020 Can-Am Spider RT Limited. Color? Uh, like an off-white, pearl, and black. Name of your bike? No name, not yet anyway. How long have you been riding? Approximately three years. Have you had any bikes before this? Nope. I had a dirt bike and a bicycle. <laughs> when was the first time you saw a three-wheeler? Um, probably about four years ago when I really paid attention to it. What did you think when you first saw it? I fell in love with it. The one I saw was, you know, had all the upgrades, playing music. It was a whole group of people. I saw them down in AC at the uh, bike show. Okay. Is that when you knew or did it take some convincing? Nope, I knew I wanted a bike when my husband kept riding off in the sunset on his <laughs> bike and I was home and I could not ride with him because he likes to go 200 miles an hour. <laughs> Okay. Why this one specifically? Um, so I went to the bike shop to get a three wheel. I didn't really know what I wanted. When I got there, I saw the price of the Riker and I'm like, look, I'm just going to get this. And my husband wouldn't let me. He goes, you need to get something that's going to be comfortable. And because I was there during the pandemic, they only had a few bikes. So they had this one and the RT. And so I picked the limited because the difference in price was like 800 bucks. Name something you wish you knew before buying. I wish I knew that you can do your upgrades on your own. So I possibly could have got a lower bike and did my own upgrades and then I wouldn't have paid as much for my bike. Must have upgrade. I want a, don't laugh, a good phone holder. I have one, but um, I need a decent one for me to feel comfortable putting my phone on the outside, and I would like to upgrade my speakers. Name something you love or hate about your bike. I love the comfort and the storage of my bike. And then I also hate those same things because it's so big. I just wish it was a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit sportier. Favorite thing about the bike? The comfort. <laughs> Would you buy it again? Yes, absolutely. Do you remember your first ride? Real ride or just? Not like, you know, cause some people like myself, I went to the dealer and picked it up and then had to drive it home. I mean like the first time. I didn't even drive my bike home. Okay, you got to deliver it. Robert drove it. Robert, okay. So we're... I was scared. So I got my bike before I even took the class. Okay. So um, the first ride I actually took was in my neighborhood. I would only go like 15 miles an hour. Okay, so do you remember the first time you were like, actually, on the highway or? Okay, so my first ride was with Kim Ferguson. I saw that we had uh, mutual friends on Facebook. A lot of mutual friends, but I didn't know her, but I saw her, she was in the riding community and she was in Burlington. So I inboxed her and she said, yes, meet me down here in Burlington. And she said, we're gonna go to the park and go across the Burlington Bristol Bridge. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. She said, yeah, I do it all the time. I said, I cannot. She said, you can. I took that ride, been riding ever since, everywhere. So thanks to Kim Ferguson for getting me out of my comfort zone. 
how long would you say it took for you to get comfortable, like fully comfortable? What was uh, that ride? Yeah. I, it was that ride. After that ride, I was fully comfortable. Describe the feeling you get when you're riding. Oh my God. I always describe it to people. When you see a dog with their face out of the window and they're just, it's nirvana. It just feels so good. I don't care what type of day you're having. If you take a ride, it makes everything better. There's no other feeling. Favorite season to ride? All. I will ride anytime as long as it's not raining. I have rode in the rain, but no snow or ice. But I rode in January. I'll ride in July. It doesn't matter to me. I ride all year. Do you prefer day or night ride? Mm, doesn't matter. <laughs> I like, I just like to ride. Favorite place to ride? Probably Petler's Village. It's my favorite place to ride. Why? because um, it takes you through various different types of, so you go to highway, you go back roads, curves, one lane bridges, you see water, you ride across water, it gives you a little bit of everything. That sounds pretty nice. Where is that? It's in Vahaska, PA, outside of oh, New Hope. Okay, PA. Yeah. Are you a part of a crew? I think I am, the Jersey Rider crew. I don't know, am I Reese? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you are. I have um, a patch. <laughs> um, do you prefer solo, small, or large ride groups? I prefer small. I like group rides, but I don't like massive group rides. I prefer, you know, you know, 20, 20 people is a good or less. Uh, could you give me pros and cons of each? So I think unless you're extremely organized doing a large ride can be dangerous um, I've done both and if like I said if it's not organized I feel like people can get hurt it's very dangerous um, the smaller rides you kind of I like riding with people that ride like me so if you have too many people on the ride, everybody's going to have different riding styles. Skill, right? Yeah, different skill level. Different skills. Yes. So, if you had to give a number, you would say two people, three people, four people, six people would be your preference. Yes, about, about six. About six. Yeah. I mean, I will do the larger rides, but it just it can create a lot of anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Last question. Convince me to join the three real life in one sentence. Oh, one word, paragraph, heaven. Heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. I like that. Well, I thank you for doing this interview. Uh, is there anything you would like to say? Comments? Nope. Shout outs? Gang affiliations? <laughs> no, nope, no gang. Shout out to the Jersey Rider crew. Um, my girl Kim for getting me comfortable and my husband Robert for making me be aware of my surroundings and keeping me safe. Well, I'd like to thank you for another great episode of Three Wheel Life. And uh, as always, stay three wheels down, ride safe. Thank you. I would like to give a big thanks to our special guest. I would also like to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Hit like, comment, subscribe down below. As always, ride safe, stay three wheels down. Later.